What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a quick Sadorf, Buffon, and Ambrosini build and review. Right? Skills, stats, and whether I recommend these players or not. Obviously, we're ramping up for V4.2, and that's going to be out on Thursday. I'm going to have a load of content for that, right? But we did actually spin, and I was kind of, like, interested in getting Sadorf. He was actually our first card that we got here, right? So this was the pack opening that we did, and it was, I think, we had three spins already done. We were on to our fourth spin, and we wanted Sadorf because I wanted to try him out. Ambrosini, one of the most underrated cards in the game by a mile. We knew that Buffon was going to be a big, big player as well. A lot of people hyped about Buffon. I think Buffon is a beast. We're going to have an individual player review on Buffon, okay? Here is the pack opening on Sadorf. But I do feel as if Buffon... Goalkeepers, man, I don't ever get too excited about goalkeepers, if that makes sense. I don't ever feel like goalkeepers are going to be a player that I'm really jumping out of my seat for. Now, Sadar, for me, I definitely think he's underrated. I definitely think he's very defensive. We're going to show you the build just here now in a sec. So this is where I was playing Sadarf, right? Now, I've been messing around with kind of my front four for a bit, uh, obviously, as we ramp up to V4.2. I'm, I'm mainly just looking to have a bit of fun with the cards, right? But Messi kind of with Rodrigo have been kind of interlinking them. But Sadarf, this is the build that we've gone for. Now, shout out to OC as well. OC did actually kind of give us this kind of build. I had a build where I didn't have his defense so high, but I definitely think that Sadarf is best suited as a defensive CMF. I would actually say that Sadarf reminds me, having played with him quite a bit, I would say that Sadarf reminds me of Makalele. Now, I know a few of you might be saying, oh, but Barry's got excellent dribbling, he's got really good speed and acceleration, and he feels silky on the ball. But boys, honestly, man, I don't feel as if he's that... I don't feel he's nimble on the ball. I think this build is kind of the reason why. So this is what we've settled on. 90 ball control, dribbling type possession, 85 low pass, 80 physical, 86 kick and power, and then every other stat where we want him. Speed, acceleration, stamina, and all his defensive stats into the 90s, right? This is kind of what we settled on. We gave him the Fantasista build booster as well. That's what we crafted him at random. I'm happy with that because it boosts up his balance to where we want it to be. Obviously over 85. And also it gives his dribbling and uh, ball control into the 90 zone, which can make a difference. We tried to make him a little bit no more nimble. Now we've actually given him low lofted pass. He has everything else. The only one I would give him is track back. I don't have track back here, um, but I would definitely give him track back if you can give it to him by legacy transfer. At least I don't think I have track back, but let me just double check. We're also going to give him weighted pass or soul control. Track back is nice if you just want to have a little bit more on him, um, but any defensive stats that you want to give him, you can. Oh, we actually do have track back, and we all... I think we give him all of these. Look at this, man. We're just after looking into this. We're going to give him heading, track back, and super sub. Now, super sub will be nice because I don't think that we're going to start him. But that is the build that we're going to go for there. That's a nice bit of timing on this. 2, 3, 5, 8, 9, 2, 12, and nothing in anywhere else. We have all his player abilities there. Aerial superiority would be nice as well. Uh, acrobatic clearance would be nice. Or else if you want to give him soul control, that's probably what we'll hold out for, right? Now, I also want to show you Ambrosini, okay? So this is Ambrosini here. We didn't actually get Ambrosini with our spins, but I have played with Ambrosini quite a bit. He's probably one of my most underrated cards in my squad. I don't play him, obviously, because I think Xabi Alonso is better than him, but he's also down as a DMF box-to-box. -box. Very similar to Sadarf, right? But you don't have the speed and the acceleration or the dribbling. He's kind of more... I think he's probably the more disappointing of the pack. I definitely feel that once you get his speed and his acceleration up to that and his defense and his aggression to 90 and 91 for defensive awareness. The rest of his stats are just going to be very basic, right? I do like Ambrosini. I like playing with him, but I don't think that he's going to be kind of... Not meta, but I don't think he's just... He's just not an upgrade, man, on the other card he had. It's, it's a pity. But in saying that, it is all about a GG Buffon, right? So this is the build that we've gone for with Buffon there. I definitely think he's going to be probably one of the most popular goalkeepers until they add a new legend goalkeeper, so to speak, right? 98 awareness, 93 catching, 93 parry, and 97 reflexes, and 95 reach with 86 jump. For a goalkeeper that's over 189 CM, is 90 plus kg, very solid. 27 levels. If this card, if Buffon had 30, if he had 30 levels, he would have been pretty much a 99 in everything if you had trained him apart from jump, right? But I do like this card. There isn't really much that you need to give him here. The only thing I would potentially give him is I would bring his goalkeeper awareness up to the 99 mark. The reason why I would do that is his reflexes over 95 are going to be enough. Just give him any booster that you want for the goalkeeper. It's not a big deal. You don't need to think too much about it. There's only two boosters that you can give here anyway. We don't have enough. 
But if you want to give him goalkeeping, that will improve his awareness to 99, his reflexes to 98. Or, of course, you could give him the, the saving one, which is going to leave out the catching, but give it to reach. So it just depends what you want to do, man, if you want a bit more reach. But for me, I think it's, it's a perfect uh, card. Now, I'm going to do a full review on Buffon with in-game and stuff, but a lot of Buffon and a lot of the goalkeepers, they're more about giving you a presence in the middle of the, the goals, right? And just being able to be your last line of defense, right? So that's kind of where I would go with him. But very, very nice cards. Did you guys spin? If you didn't, are you going to wait until Thursday with the new update? Have you any hype for that? Let me know. But that's just a quick build. And let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on the road to 55,000 subscribers. Once we get there, big giveaway. Until then, talk to you later. Peace.